What's up everybody, just a guy and a girl here, and we are back at the parks for the dining package from Rancho del Zócalo. Yeah. Actually, we didn't do the intro when we were supposed to, <laughs> so this is at the end of the night. We're going to show you what we ate, what was the entree, what was the, the dessert. dessert, and give you our thoughts on it, let you know if it's worth it, show you the spot where yeah. we got. Intro, outro. Intro, outro. Intro, outro. Intro, outro. Intro. intro. This is Rancho del Zócalo over here. Oh, yes. We have the dining package. Check in for the dining package. I guess if you're checking in, you gotta come in through a different side. Oh, there's a lot of stops There's here. a lot of uh, <laughs> checkpoints. Yeah, a lot of checkpoints. Hi, I'm reservation, yes. For the adults, it's 35. It includes one entree with uh, radish slaw, cilantro lime, rice, potato salad, refried beans, dessert, choice of fountain beverage, coffee, tea, or hot cocoa. And then entrees are chile verde riblets with spicy tomatillo salsa, sweet and spicy shrimp taco, marinated grilled shrimp, potato tacos with picante aioli and guac guacatillo, sweet and savory carne asada, marinated short rib. And dessert is cortadillo, jam filled pan dulce with vanilla frosting and rainbow sprinkles. And then for the kids, it's $25. And the uh, it includes entree served with cuties, mandarin orange dessert, choice of small Dasani water, riblets, potato tacos, mac and cheese. They do have the signage right here, fantastic dining experience. Pick up here. Hi, can I have the asada and you want the? The chile verde. So today's meal was $35 a person. With our discount, we saved $5.25 for each plate. This is what I got, and this is the chile verde riblets. So you get three three ribs with spicy tomatillo sauce. I like the limes that they have chile on them. Celeste got the sweet and savory carne asada, marinated short rib. All the plates come with the same sides, the beans, the cilantro rice, the potato salad, and the radish slaw. And then you get the dessert which is this uh, cortadillo. So it's just like a little sponge cake with a, with a jam filling and then the sprinkles on top. And you get a beverage. You can get coffee, a fountain beverage, or hot cocoa. And we bought, we bought the chips extra. Chip separate. All right, you guys, so I got the carne asada. Let's see. Mm. Wow. Ooh, this is good. The carne is really good. It's like a little thick piece of steak. Usually carne is really kind of thin, like a flat meat. Yeah, that's why it's listed as a... Like a short a remnant? Short rib. This is really good. The flavor is good. Um, the flavor, whatever, the marinade and this meat that they marinated in, it is so delicious. It is very good. It has a nice light char on it. It's really good. And you get two decent sizes yeah. of, uh, of strips of meat. Two. The beans are basic. They're good. And so. then, let me try the rice. Ooh, I got the tenata rice. It's good. Yeah, well, come here a little piece of them. The potato salad has little pieces of corn. Carrots. Carrots and potato. Ooh. Wow, even the potatoes are, oh, the potatoes are really good. I like it. This is a really good meal. This is good. I'm waiting for my piece. Oh, wait, what? Am I not giving a food review first? See, so anxious to try my sandwich. Can you even try my sandwich yesterday, you guys? <clears throat> I forgot, I was so excited with my uh, Cuban sandwich, I forgot to try uh, hers. Tender. Super tender. tender for being a thick, uh, a thick, a cut. thick cut. That's good. what I was worried about. I was kind of wishing that I would have got those ones when I saw them. Maybe next time. Because most likely we'll probably be doing this dining package a lot. Yeah, this one's worth it. Yeah, this is worth it. It's very economical. You're still, again, if we get there early, we're still going to get a pretty good view as well. Um, which we're going to try and do today. And there's still a lot of food here. This is, this is a, they're good, those look tender. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a really good option. It's super tender. So most likely you'll probably see Ines eating this a lot. 
Oh my god. I was like... That's good. It literally melts in your mouth. Give me my rib back. Dang, I should have got those. Actually, you want? I'll so take much, some of your so meat. Much, you can so have so one of these. It's easier for me to eat that one. I had no, no chewing them all. Here, take it. Oh, they um, give you four. Okay, give me just one though, because I'm going to give you... Yeah. Well, that's all I was going to give you. Wow. I mean, these, these pieces of steak, they're long. They're like this big. It's a um, spicy tomatillo salsa on this. It's good. It's tender. Big chunks. You get Huge four chunks. pieces. And At least we got four a pieces. Little, a little tiny bone in the middle. And the rest is all meat. Yeah. It's really so, good. It's good. It's good, guys. Like, we did the Hungry Bear package all the time because I was the most economical person because we wanted to show Fantasmic from a good view. So I think this is going to be a really good... Um, menu um, option for us. Seriously, like kudos to the chef. This is really, really good. The rice is good. The potato salad's okay for me. For me, the the meat. The meat's really good. I'm a sucker for ribs too. Like especially these kinds for like chile verde. They're really good. And good don't be right? afraid of the chile verde. It's not it has, spicy. It's not spicy. It has a little tiny kick. Tiny. It's very good. The chile verde were blitz for the win, you guys. I mean, don't get me wrong, the carne salad is delicious. It's beyond delicious. It's super good. The flavor is there. It's perfect. But just, I mean, wow. Those are really pack a punch, so those are really good. Again, yeah. Riverbell's cool. Again, it has a more of a little formal dining because you're sitting inside. You know, you got the server coming and all that. That's a cool little experience. That's fifty-five dollars. This one's thirty-five. Uh, you can sit here, or you can package it, and like I said, go to the island, find a little bench over there, um, one of the picnic benches, or anywhere around. It. This yeah, is no. the cortadillo, jam-filled pan dulce with vanilla frosting and rainbow sprinkles. Let's try it. It looks soft. Ooh, it's very. Ooh, it's very soft. Good. Oh yeah. Wow. The sponge cake is super soft and moist. I like the frosting on top. It's a little bit of a, kind of like a buttercream, some sprinkles. The jam in the middle is really good. It just is your basic strawberry jam. But everything together, it works. It's just a nice, good, sweet piece of cake. It is so good. Nothing crazy or fancy, but it is the flavor is there. The texture is there. Is the softness is there. This is perfect. Is so much better than the dessert yesterday. Is it not super sweet? It's not super it's sweet. Not, it doesn't look like it. Okay. It's not super sweet at all. Taste yours. I'm still eating. Yeah, but we're doing this segment now. I'm going to taste yours. Take one bite. Whoa. Wait, you're not going to share mine. I want to see you finish that. Doesn't matter if I finish it or not. Mm. And it's funny, as thin mm. as that little bit of strawberry filling is, you like very, come uh, through a lot. Yeah. It's very, very... Um, oh, mm -hmm. You're lucky it's the white frosting. It's a perfect amount that they put yeah any in more than this like at first, at first i was like oh man it's gonna be all cake and hearty any filling no <laughs> that was a perfect amount i think any more would have been way too sweet way too tart. yeah tart because it's a little bit tart but very little so this is a very good mix of the sweet and tart to make it it's just it's just perfect it's a perfectly perfectly balanced this is a good cake i yeah. like it did you like it yeah yeah i think this would have go perfect too like with the the coffee Ooh, like yeah. having a coffee instead of a yeah. soda yeah. yeah i'm happy with this oh, i'm cake. still eating my food now you got me eating dessert over here all right so we are in line for the dining package again today we are doing rancho de zocalo so we are lining up if you're well i'll show you where we're lining up right now yeah, we're super excited. We're gonna see where we end up this time. Yes. For today, so. Come on, let's go.
Can your friends hold this? Of their little hands. Huh? <laughs> I really enjoyed again. The food was good. The price, awesome. Yes. Um, the scene again, fantabulous. We had a great spot right next to the um, the higher price. The higher price. Bayou. Blue Bayou. And um, was it worth it? In my opinion, yes. absolutely. We'll be doing this again, absolutely, because we want to. We keep wanting to bring you back to see more great spots from the waterfront. And right. This is the most economical way. The food was good. Um, the price was right. So, absolutely, guys, 100 and 10 percent. Was it worth it? Yes, yes, and yes. Definitely yes. do Rancho de Socorro. Let us know if you've tried it. What dish did you get? Um, your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.